subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the one that pardon and he is the one that is the all forgiven she said for that hafidha he said fal ladhi la yastati'u an yuhajir he said the one that doesn't have the ability or the, he doesn't have the ability to make the hijra fa innahu ma'dhurun he is being excused the one that doesn't have the means to migrate he is what he is he is what he is being excused so do we say the hijra is mustahab or do we say it is wajib what do we say wajib why what is the proof what is the proof that it is wajib what is the proof that the hijra is wajib what is the proof that it is wajib abdullah what is the proof that it is wajib now on the itlaq we say it is wajib to migrate from the lands of the disbeliever to the believers now on the itlaq we say it is wajib طيب right but what is the proof that it is wajib huh the prophet did not necessarily it is a proof that it is wajib a wajib means something if you if you if you If you do it, you reward it. If you don't, you're sinful. If you don't, you're sinful. Yes, you will be held, held accountable. Ahsanta naam here. You have two things. You have al wa'd wal wa'id. You have the wa'd wal wa'id. In here, the wa'id, the, the threat of the hellfire, right? It shows that what for them not doing it, so they are under the threat of the hellfire. they are under the threat of the hell fire for not doing it so if there is a sin that the person can be sub- subjected to the hell fire or the punishment of the hell fire then that shows that this is from the from the obligations that shows that it is also from the kabair al-dhunub right if there is a sin that you have a threat of the hell fire upon that sin for the one that does that, that is irtikabu atilk al ma'siyah right the one that does that sin if there is a threat of the hell fire upon him then that shows that this is a this is an obligation or you can say that show that abandoning that action is from the kabair or if there is a sin that it is entitled with it the punishment of the grave that shows also this is a kabair and that show that doing it if it is something to be done is an obligation or abandon it if it is something to be abandoned then doing it will be from the kabair dhunub طيب so shaykh salih for that he say lakin he say alladhi yastati'u for the one that has the ability yajibu alayhi al hijra the one that has the ability it is incumbent upon him to make the hijra it is incumbent upon him to make that hijra if he has the ability it is a must for him to set, to do the hijra طيب he say فلا يجوز له ان ان يقيم بين اظهر المشركين it is not permissible for him to be present in the mix of the disbelievers He is not to be residing among the disbelievers. It is not permissible. So now, alhamdulillah, this is a matter of the religion that, you know, al asaf, al asaf, unfortunately, we live in a time where, uh, where, it, where, whereas, that the majority, I mean, we, I'm talking out of experience, that the majority of the Muslim youth they want to come to America. the majority of the muslim youth they want to go to europe and we mentioned barakallahu fikum as the sharh of shay muhammad bin misal al uthaymin rahimahullah the three fundamental principles right in the same chapter of al hijra he mentioned that the muslim that could be allowed to travel to the land of the disbelievers is to be knowledgeable of his religion is to be knowledgeable of his religion so nobody will play him in his religion 
and he is to be barakallahu fikum firm upon the actions of the of the, of, of the religion so no no desires will overcome him and he is to be knowledgeable of the tricks and the trials of the disbelievers the kufriyat of the disbelievers he must be aware of those have knowledge of it so they will not lay no trick against him but majority of i will say it barakallahu feek majority of us this us is the foreigners majority of us traveling to america or to europe akhi we don't understand our religion majority of us majority of the muslim traveling to in the lands of the disbelievers do not understand their deen properly yes they may have abdullah here and there they may have muhammad here and there as their names but as in reality to the to the understanding of the religion and uh, this is nowhere to be found there's, there's nowhere to be found So he mentioned walakin alladhi yastati the one that has the ability fayajibu it is a must it is an obligation upon him to do what to perform the hijrah so therefore if it is an obligation for the one that has the ability it mean right by it it mean that fala yajuzu lahu it is not permissible for him to remain bayna adhhuri almushrikeen it is not permissible for him to be residing among the disbelievers Sure. Which one? What part? The part that you say he was, if he had knowledge and all, he's able to go. Then I kind of like just talk. Yes, meaning, that. meaning, meaning. Now, there are conditions. Now there are conditions. Why a Muslim can be allowed to go to the kufar lands? Conditions. It is not like as we thought. Oh, I want to just go to America, man. I got a visa. I got the money. I'm going. It's not like most of us cases, most of us, right? It's not. It's not like that, but rather it is a procedure that Barakallahu fiqum, the conditions that one must, alhamdulillah, go by first. From those, let's say, if the person he is seeking a knowledge, right? That Barakallahu fiqum, you might only found the universities in. Harvard or in whatever other university they the only university that are teaching or the person he want to he finished high school or he finished this so he want to go to this college because of this knowledge and that knowledge is cannot be found in the muslim countries that knowledge cannot be found in the muslim countries or he is going for medical treatment or medical attention tayyib where is you only found alhamdulillah in the in the lands of the of the kufar So you, you, that's the only place you found it. You find it. So therefore, it is permissible for one to, let's say, leave the Muslim country and to travel to the disbelievers' country. So he, alhamdulillah, could be and he given the medical treatment that he 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 needs. Or he is going for a trade. He's going for a trade. He's going for a trade. Or uh, 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 he was being barakallahu fikum. And is sent by his government. By his government, he is a Muslim. The Muslim government sent him to go and represent him in the in the lands of the disbelievers. He might be like a, a diplomatic uh, ambassador or the likes of that, right? Or, alhamdulillah, that they have a treaty between those two countries, and they are sending, they are exchanging diplomats. Now, in this, alhamdulillah, it is permitted. Or the person. He say I'm going to this land to talabul rizq but for a appointed time or for a appointed yani uh, amount of money that he want to gather together if the time come or he reach that goal then he has to barakallahu fikum cash out these are the condition barakallahu fikum many of the muslims tayyib we barakallahu fikum i'm saying we ignore of remember the shape so right right 
for medical treatment. And Allahu Akbar, on that note, when they, they wanted to cut his lihya, Allahu Akbar, and look at this man. The Shaykh refused. For the treatment? Yes. They wanted to cut, shave his beard, but the Shaykh refused. Allahu Akbar. Barakallah for you for mentioning that point. It would not have been sinful if he would have did it. Though. And that was my next point. If he would have do it, that would not be sinful. But now, the Sheikh is a Qudwa. You understand? The Sheikh is a role model. Mm. He is an example. He is a Qudwa. He is a role model. That got to come to play. Just like what Imam Ahmed rahimahullah rahmatan wasi'ah. Right? In the mihna of the creation of the Quran. Right? He could have, barakallah, if he could use the other verse. He could have used the verse. Right? Illa man ukriha. He could have used that verse. He could have used that verse. Except those that their hearts are filled with Iman. Meaning those who are being coerced. While their hearts was filled with Iman. He could have used that verse. Because he was tortured. He was jailed. He was this. He was that. He was humiliated. All of that above he was done. For him to say what? The Quran is created. But Abba and Yaqulu Dalika. He refused to say that. Why? He knew that people were waiting for what Imam Ahmed say. If today, Walhamdulillahi, Ba'd Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, after the favor of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, that He guided us to have this belief that the Quran is the speech of Allah, Ghayru Makhluq. If Imam Ahmed Rahimahullah would have taken that verse, but perhaps most of the people today would not, would not be brave to say that the Quran is the speech of Allah ghayru makhluq. But Shaykh Uthay Muhammad ibn Shaykh ibn Uthaymin rahimahullah, he was a qudwa, he was a leader, he was an imam. Right? So that walhamdulillah did not barakallah fikum allow him to take that rukhsa. If that was me and you, we could have easily take it, because we not no role, we not no 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 no, right? We don't have the standard. Me, me and you, we don't have that, right? Let's say the doctor tell you, hey Talha, you have to shave your beard to have the this uh, medical treatment. That's not like to you know that same statement said to Shaykh Muhammad Salih Al Thaymin that you gotta remove the the lihya because of this medical treatment. But he was an imam. He was a qudwa, someone that barakallahu fikum, people look up to. Right? Now think about it, alhamdulillah. I mean, not even students that are in front of him. Because most of us, alhamdulillah, before the internet start getting, you know, all over the place, we used to hear most of the scholars, alhamdulillah, but never seen them. Never seen them. Used to hear his tapes here and there, Tayyip passing out the tapes and stuff like this, but never seen him until Alhamdulillah the internet start, Alhamdulillah being what it is today. Right? So here the Shaykh Hafizahullah Tabarak Ta'a Shasal al Fawdan, he mentioned, so therefore it is not permissible for the Muslim to remain بين أظهر المشركين to remain in the mix of the mushrikeen, meaning in the lands of the mushrikeen. The Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, and we'll finish with that. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, and inshallah ta'ala, this is the third way of knowing what is an obligation or what is a kabair. We mentioned something that is untitled with what? The threat of the hellfire or the punishment of the? Grave, the third one is coming now. The third one here is coming. How to know that something is an obligation or how to know that something is from the kabair. 
The third one is coming here. The Messenger Ali Salatu was salam he mentioned in a hadith Akhrajahu Imam Abu Dawud Rahimahullah wa Tirmizi wa Nasai. And he mentioned Rahimahullah and also the this is uh, the Shart Barakallah Fikum of the Shaykhaini.